From 1979, Junior Achievement Bahamas has fostered entrepreneurship, work readiness, and financial literacy into the minds of young people. This year, JA Bahamas celebrates 40 years of inspiring and preparing young people to succeed in a global economy. Through hands-on learning and the belief in the boundless potential of young people, JA will continue to ignite the present for tomorrow's future. My name is Lyndon Wallace, CEO and founder of Quenchers, and I am JA. Welcome to JA Talks. Today, we have Lyndon Wallace, a past achiever. So Lyndon, how long were you in Junior Achievement? I was actually in Junior Achievement for one year. I started in the year 2016, 2017. Okay, and why did you join JA? Well, the funny thing about that is then Jay was introduced to my school, the Catherine International Academy, in, in my senior year, that was 2016-2017, and they introduced the Aspire program to us, and they were telling us about it, and I've already heard so much great things about Jay, but uh, the Aspire program was kind of new to me, and I was more familiar with the company program, and that's really what I wanted to be a part of, and they told us that hey, you know, it's, they already did the registration and all of that, so it was kind of too late, uh, which we understood. So they was also starting to tell us that there was an orientation the following day, which was Saturday, and I decided to go out there anyway to see, you know, what it was all about and, you know, seeing how happy and excited everyone was for the upcoming JA year, you know, it got me kind of excited, so it made me wanted to be a part of it. So I made up my mind that I was going to go to every company table and ask them if they would be able to take me for this upcoming JA year. And the first table I went to was Scotiabank and they took me right away with no hesitation. Okay, can you remember any other counseling firms that sponsored JA that year? Yes, we had KPMG, um, NIB, uh, Commonwealth Bank, BEC, BTC, uh, just to name a few. Okay. And in your company, Scotiabank, what was the name? Our name was the Scotiabank Trailblazers. Trailblazers. Yeah, and the funny thing about that is in Scotiabank Trailblazers, we sold oils, like body oils, colognes, and perfumes, and we also sold fruit punch. And that kind of led me into doing my business. It's not where I got the idea from, but I have a beverage manufacturing company called Quenchers, and that's that kind of showed me that, hey, it was possible. Like it could actually happen because, you know, JA is a place where we, the, the kids run the company, like they make sure everything happens. We handle all the marketing, we handle all the the product control and everything and it, it helped me to realize that, hey, I don't have to wait until I'm a certain age to start my business and that really helped me to open my eyes to say that I can do this right now. And your experience in JA, your exposure, the business concepts that you use was that beneficial to running your company oh yes very beneficial it, the like they it really gave me the foundation of how businesses should be run like it if it wasn't for a J, I i would probably just i would my things would be all over the place but it helped help me to understand that there's some type of organization behind all the the, the flashy stuff that you see in business today because a lot of people they just see the end result they don't know all the back-end work that goes on when it comes to running your own business like it's a lot of work it's not as easy like as simple as this product may look um, on an average day it takes me a few hours to get all my products out and when I say a few hours I'm talking like 10 to 13 hours and me just working so it's not it's not easy but Jay helped me to come to that realization that hey like if you want to have your own company you got to put in this work because it was like 30 something of us in the company and it would still take us hours in production just to get out these products so imagine me alone trying to run that type that same type of business yes and what was your most memorable experience in Jay? I have to say the college bound trip uh, where we traveled from uh, college to college learning about how college students live and how they you know go about their everyday lives it was pretty good for me and also being around kids from different schools and interacting and you know it was a lot of fun and that carried me into when I went to college I did a year in college and ended up losing my scholarship I had to come back home but you know it still was a great experience learning like just living living like a college kid you know 
Yeah. Okay, so tell us some more about your product. Can we taste it? Yes, you may. Yes, you may. <laughs> Uh, this here is Quenches. I started this when I was 19 years old. Mm. It's so good. The non I appreciate is really good. It. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, it's a business I started. Like I said, when I, I went off to school as soon as I was done, I went to college. And I was playing baseball and I got injured. Ended up losing my scholarship, had to come back home. You know, I was trying to go to therapy and do all the, the work to try and get back. But then I heard myself again. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna. Business was always my passion. Like I always had a passion for business. In school, I would get in trouble for like selling cookies and doing all sorts of like entrepreneurial stuff because you know it wasn't even about making money for me. It was more like entertainment for me, like yeah. running a business, making things happen. Like I, in my 12th grade, I had like three different streams of income: just selling cookies. Uh, my aunt had a restaurant and I would provide a restaurant with drinks like juice bowl and things like that. And then I would help coach little kids at uh, JBLN where I used to play and their parents would pay me. So it was just like all a game for me trying to have different streams of income. And that just motivated me to when I started, I mean, when I lost my scholarship that, hey, I'm gonna actually try and start my own business. And that's exactly what I did. And getting started, it was, it was a lot harder than I expected it to be. I thought it would have been easy seeing that I already been doing all of this business stuff, but you know, trying to professionalize it, like trying to run it like an actual business, competing against actual cooperations that are already out there, it's, it's pretty tough and it kind of molded me into who I am today. Like it, it helps me to really understand rejection. Like not everyone's gonna say yes and not every time someone says no, that means it's no, because you can always go back and ask them again. And I've had many clients who I have now told me no first. And after I came to them again, they were like, okay, we'll give it a try or whatever. And now the company is growing and I'm competing. I'm actually a threat in the industry now, you know? Yeah. Well, it's obvious that the pillars in GA, financial literacy, work readiness, and entrepreneurship, it's Right. And Don, you mentioned that you came in your last year of school grade 12. Right. And was it beneficial to you? Was that last year, the last experience you could get in J was it beneficial? Yes, I think it was very beneficial. I wish I had started in my 10th, year, 10th grade year. But, you know, anyone who is interested in junior achievement, I commend you to get out there and do it because it has really molded me as a person. You know, even the people in the J office, they're like family to me now. Even though I've only been here for one year, I've left, they've left such an impact on me and I'm sure, I've, I'm sure I've done the same for them. So anyone interested in junior achievement, even the Aspire program or the J, for uh, juniors. yeah, for juniors and all of that, please get involved. Uh, the people that are here at the J office, they're wonderful people. They'll take you on like family. They'll make sure you're doing well. They'll get you in, they'll help you get scholarships, anything that you need. And anyone interested in starting your own business, J, you can't, you can't skip J. Like J is like the foundation of starting your business, helping you understand what's going on. And even people who have passed through J and you want to start your own business, I suggest you get up and start because you already have the tools that Jay placed in our hands as past achievers. So I I just hope that anyone watching this and was thinking about joining Junior Achievement, I hope that this inspired you to get up and actually go, go ahead and sign up. Even if your school doesn't have the program, just come to the JA office and sign up. Well, thank you so much, Indar, for sharing your experience. All right, no problem. My name is Lyndon Wallace, CEO and founder of Quenchers, and I am J.A. And I am J.A. I am J.A. I am J.A. I am J.A. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy, saw your boy, Bohemian comedian, actor, entertainer, MC, all kinds of different things. Nice a former J.A. advisor. And look here, I am J.A.